Hi guys, there is here an electronic control unit, an EQ, and it's a Mitsubishi one, it's used in some of the Chevrolet and Suzuki models like uh, GeoTracker and Psykit. Uh, about what to check in the EQ, let me tell you, anything could be bad from 102 electronic uh, components, 103 of them could be bad on the way but some of them they are more sensitive to high power exposed to high currents and the probability that they will get the damage first is higher so let's check for them first i will start with the capacitors any one of them could be damaged the second that i will go for is all kind of uh, diode in the system and they could get in troubles too also resistors uh, don't forget this resistor 0 0.27 ohms you have to make a measurement of it if the resistor increase a little bit the car will be in troubles after testing everything go for the semiconductors one by one and try to analyze don't forget sometimes you have to check everything I mean resistors, capacitors, all the little diodes and transistors you must do it in this case soon in the video we, we will learn how to test this uh, set of transistors and diodes the power ones in my case for this kind of uh, EQ I got uh, this capacitor uh, in troubles is totally flat it didn't uh, inflame didn't inflate but i got a leak in this capacitor it's a little bit hard to see here but let's watch it on the next picture as we see in the picture the capacitor had a leak Anyhow, if we make a measurement, the capacitor looks very good. I will save this capacitor for an uh, internal serial resistor test in another video to see what is going on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the capacitor for another with the same characteristics. So my capacitor was working supposedly good not at all but my mind damage is here in the printed circuit board the electrolytic uh, liquid make a damage in the pcb and now there is not connection between the through hole and the next uh, track i will have to make a bypass from this point to this other point in the other side of this line, I have the 12 volts from the battery coming here. So that's the reason why the injectors didn't work. About the transistors, this is the number of each transistor printed on the top of the transistor, on the face of, uh, front face. And this is the identification number in the printed circuit board and as you can watch this is the color for each one sometimes it's not easy to recognize them and in some models i found that the transistor there is crashed i don't know why for the first transistor we'll get base collector and emitter npn the second transistor same configuration for all of them base collector emitter but this is PMP the third device is a diode the first lead is not connection next is the cathode and the next is the anode for the last one is another transistor PMP the first two they are Darlington's with resistors in the internal resistors between the base and the emitter and the last one is just a normal transistor with high current about 7 amperes 
from here the base to the collector you have to make a measurement one diode and from here to here another diode also we have a protection diode for the injector or whatever is there the coil uh, for the high voltage uh, discharge so when the coil discharge this is the protection diodes pay attention that one goes in the positive direction of the other because they are PMP and NPM that's the reason why I leave it in white for this model the data sheet will show me that there is a resistor here 15k and here about 150 ohms if you polarize your tester in the positive polarization and try to see what is going on you will find a conduction between B and C and pay attention because the transistor is not bad uh, there is not a leaking what you are doing is just passing the current for, uh, through the resistors polarizing the next diode and you will get the conduction between these two points so for the ones who are hunting always the leaking in the transistors pay attention if you are doing it right because you have two resistors here and I will see something in reverse based to see with the opposite uh, polarization same case for the other guy okay in my case all the transistors they are good I just wanted to share the information download the data sheet you must add uh, sometimes uh, uh, numbers here ahead uh, all of them they are Toshiba if you want to look for them and put them in your database uh, with information about this kind of echo now I will be fixing this problem making the bypass there replacing the bad capacitor and I will spend the, probably the next two hours, two hours and a half uh, testing device by, device by device because what I think it happens here the alternator went to high voltage and I want to make sure that nothing else is damaged on the way to send the echo back to the client thanks for watching